want to watch the epidemic of Andrew Tate clones from Gunner TV? What is this room? My name's not Andy. Uh, hey man, what are you doing in my house? Who, what's going on? Huh? Why is this strange man yelling at me? What's his problem? Why won't he shut up? Do I know you? What's your name? Oh, right, sorry. Collabit? Yeah, okay, why not? Let's do it. Guys, today we are talking about wealth. Fame. Fortune. Status. Alpha male presence. How to be smarter by being richer. And having bigger muscles, which we have underneath these coats. Yep. Today I'm joined by the lovely Andy King. Why why would you call me lovely? If we're alpha males, we don't do we don't we don't talk to each other like I'm that. I'm sorry, something possessed me. I meant the badass Andy King. That's what I'm talking about. And I think you look fucking sexy. Thanks. <laughs> tell <laughs> tell it to <laughs> it's a direct contradiction. <laughs> we have two cameras today. Just so you know, you're you have less money than both of us. <laughs> we're looking at Andrew Tate copycats. Oh. Now, Andrew Tate, of course, renowned for being Andrew Tate. But we're not talking about Andrew Tate today. We're gonna to be looking at the copycats that have emerged following his disappearance off the internet. The main premise is they all claim to be kind of alpha successful guys. Most of them are our age or younger. Okay, so successful. We'll see as we get into okay, it. Okay, let's see, let's see. If you are over the age of 13 and you still use Snapchat, I just want you to know that you're a little bitch, especially <laughs> if you're still keeping snap streaks. If you make it a point of your day to keep this minuscule number. What? Who is this for? 14 year olds? Like, who's the target audience for this? Like literally, oh dude, I'm 14 now. What the fuck? We're going. You have nothing better to do in your life. Look at that as a sign that you need to wake the fuck up and escape this. No, like for real. This is like, like I've never. I mean, I'm I'm 31. So for me, this is so far outside of my fucking scope of comprehension. You know what I mean? Like, what? What's what's a Snapchat streak? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Fucking trap. This is hard, right? Because. You don't get mad, but I agree with him. Oh, I agree with him, too. I agree with him 100%. I agree with him, too. I agree with him, too. I just know for a fact that he had just deleted Snapchat, I feel like, a week before, 100%. maybe. 100%. <laughs> or he actively has streaks. <laughs> and the way that he first comes in with, like, if you still have Snapchat, you're a little bitch. Yeah, you're a post- Like, I have a Snapchat underneath me right here, and that's not even an account any longer. Like, that's not even a real account. I, it, I just don't know how to take it off my my... I don't know how to delete it from this thing. So I just, it's just there. Like it's in the banner because I don't know how to delete it off the banner. I'm so fucking old. Yeah. Crop the PNG holy. How do I crop it? Because like the TikTok one is next to it and the TikTok is real. Dude. You're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely one of those kids that would like be like, these are the tips that you need to survive high school, and they're all wrong. Yeah. He doesn't know shit. <laughs> he doesn't know shit about it. Also, I guess we probably should address this, but I mean, they'll fucking you know the clips underneath like <laughs> yeah yeah i mean, I mean th that's how he's gonna get the attention yeah i have always known that i'm gonna become rich and successful since before i was making any fucking money even back Chill, in the brokey days wait what the fuck is he talking about back then in the brokey days like i'm 16 now but back when i was 14 dude i was a brokey and then i got a job at the dairy queen dude and man am i caked up now Definitely just learned how to curse too. He's one of those. That's what kids. I'm saying. He's it's right kids. after. He's like, Maybe he has made a little money, but like now he's like, oh, I got the right of passage. Like, fuck everyone. Fuck you, Brokies. Dude, he held a hundred dollar bill in his hand for the first time and he was like, mm -hmm. fuck! I hate everyone else! <laughs> Hold on, did you hear how he said? Even back in my brokey days, when I was still working at a bar, the bartenders were. Did he actually say brokey? Yes. That sounds derogatory. It's <laughs> that sounds really derogatory, doesn't it, dude? The That's days. a little fucked up. There's no shot this fucking dude worked at a bar. He's too young. 
to work oh, at a bar. It's directly <laughs> taken from Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate says brokey. That's, oh. just, that's a big thing. All yeah, people he calls her brokey. I don't believe this motherfucker <laughs> actually worked at a bar. I have no idea how it's being, de de probably derogatory. Well, Even in my brokey days. I was making any fucking money. money. Even back in my brokey days. <laughs> back in my brokey days. What do you mean back in your brokey days? Like five months ago? Yeah, dude. Like How much money are you even making from this? Back when I was 17 years old. The bartenders were talking to me and making plans about my yacht in Miami for when I'm older and rich. If you don't even display that confidence and believe in yourself that you're going to make it one day, how do you ever expect to achieve your goals? Yes, you need to take all the proper steps to achieve financial freedom and whatnot, but you also need a true- Yeah, bro, he's caked up. He's got the RGB lights that he got off of a TikTok ad. He's wearing like, what are those? Are those Zenheisers? I don't even know. Why does he look so wet? Like, he just looks so- like, did he fucking douse himself with Vaseline before he shot this? Like, I don't know what's happening. It's so, it's so moist. You know? It's like me when I first start. Buyer Dynamic 770s, is that what you're saying? I mean, he's got a shit gamer chair. He's got... I don't know what the fuck this is. Really believe it in yourself and know that you're going to make it there Here's one the day. The most absurd thing about this to me is that everything that he's saying is completely valid, but yes. he is not the one that should be telling yeah, you yeah, any yeah, of yeah. this. Also, why were the bartenders talking about his his future? yacht? <laughs> you you yacht. always got to believe in yourself. Get other people to talk about your yacht and then come on that shit later in life and you got to believe in yourself. It's like <laughs> yeah, he's got like a little bit of truth there. It's right. Like, yeah, right. believe in yourself. Get that shit done. But like, what was that story? It's like the bartenders are coming into work every day like, yeah, man, my girlfriend just dumped me. I'm I've been having a really rough weekend. He's like, nah, hey guys, hold on. Can I can I speak over you for a second? Yeah. When do Yeah, this is the exact same as the white girl manifestation shit. This is just a secret, but like for people who think the secret is gay because reading is gay and manifestation is gay. So you gotta make it ungay. You gotta make it straight. So that's like, yeah, Sigma grind set. That's it. You know what I mean? It's literally like, yeah, dog, I fucking, I'm, I'm actualizing it, dude. I'm manifesting it. When do you guys think I'm going to get a yacht? And then I won't invite you because you guys will still be broke and I won't respect you at that point. So. Yeah, fuck that. It only takes two weeks to cure depression. I don't want to hear any of this no. bullshit. No, wild claim. Wait, that's wild, wild, wild claim. right? <laughs> two weeks, depression can be cured. Shit's you don't, done. You don't need pills. You don't need therapy. I've never been to a doctor in my life. Yeah, fuck that. Doctors. I don't want to hear any of this bullshit that it takes years and thousands of dollars in therapy and dozens of pills to cure your depression. No, right now, stop hanging out with your loser friends, start eating healthier, go to the gym, and write your fucking goals down. You need some direction in your dude, life. What does he think? Like a cartoonish, like shoving a ton of pills down your throat? Yeah, dude. What do you think? Therapy? Her pills? Is that isn't that an Andrew I want to Tate see thing? more like, from this guy. Are, like if you if you take pills to like cure depression, like you can't speak on like the quality of oh the life yeah wait i want to see more from this what guy what's his at I what's really? his he meant to say clinical what is this uh, <laughs> no i think you're wrong on that one. No. oh my god we did it we did it thank you austin ox he's sunny faz and mom that's wait he's with his mom oh my god there is literally nothing more alpha than having a tiktok account not only dedicated to you being a fucking Sigma Grindset guy, but like you're so young that you need to have your mom with you as your supervisor. Why should your rights? Oh my God, this is the most Italian coded shit I've ever seen. What the fuck? Oh, thank God we're exploring this, dude. Okay, let me change this real quick. The W banner is finally being updated, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's over. For so long, the W banner had a bunch of irrelevant, unrelated, dumb shit on it. And by that, I just simply mean it had the fucking, it had all this stuff. I, I don't know. It, it had the Snapchat, which is defunct. It doesn't actually lead to a real snapchat but now we have w banner version 2 that's right folks get excited at the w banner version 2 a new era of w banner
Courtesy of Asinox. Fuck, gotta fix this shit now. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, we're not done yet. You thought we were done, but we're not actually done. Let me let me do this real quick. Yeah. Yeah, gotta do some real real life editing. Boom. Now it's done. That's it. It's fucking over. We did it. You were here for this historic moment on the Hasanabi broadcast. Woo! Sheesh. I got so excited about the banner. I messed up my fishing on my game. Talk about hype. Good job. Yeah. Okay. I can't. We got to watch. This guy. What? This guy literally reacts to shit How with his mom. How often do you fear for your safety when a man cat calls you? 100%. All the time. Now, I'm not excusing it. Why is cat calling such That's a big deal? Head. I think cat calling is such a big deal because I'm not out here dressed like this. You can give a little oh my hand of the outfit. This is not for others' view. This is for me. You dress like that and you do your hair and you put on all that makeup when you're home alone. Okay, pumpkin. We buy that. Wait, what? Spooky, quiet, scary atmosphere piano songs. Skittle girl sound over this video. What the fuck is this? Like... The mom is literally like saying what? That it's okay to get catcalled if you're if you're dressed that way? What the fuck? That's so gross. Also, isn't it ironic that she's like saying, Oh, you dress up in your own house just to sit like that? Bro, you're dressed up in your own house. What the fuck are you saying? Like you're quite literally in your own house. And you're dressed up. What the fuck? Yeah, incel son and femcel mother. I love that. Oh, you you got all the other TikTokers in the video too? Okay, this guy, this is going to be a deeper dive than this video. Thank you. Shouts out to Gunner TV and also the lovely Andy for showing me these fucking clowns. Yep. But I think I'm going to take over the reins here and just look at these guys on my own because, God damn, there's some... What? Okay, this guy doesn't even have any followers. What do you mean? These guys are not getting into Andrew Tate lane. He's got nothing. Bro. Okay, these guys don't have anything. What the fuck? Okay, let me tell you something. There's some other Andrew Tate lane guys. His mom isn't a fan, sadly. All carry a bunch of personal biases, and when we analyze situations, we do not have enough scope to grab. Wait, they reacted to me? Oh, the mom reacted That's to me? The entirety of the situation, not comprehended with our human brains. You can derive, you're deriving your truth from an internet study. That's fine. You can derive. My bad correction. Okay, chill. We're not doing that. Stop. Truth from the internet study on a bunch of different things. That's honestly another thing is that how how can you really trust anything you see on the internet when everything that's portrayed to you is there's a reason it's being portrayed to you that way. There's that's what back, I said. There's you know, some back end reasoning for the person putting that out. I find it funny that he says there's you know so much more around our understanding than we can understand. Yet he won't acknowledge that he can't understand that Tate's experience is valid. I got fucking owned. Mama Bear owned me, dude. Incel son or femcel mom? He just fucking destroyed me. How is this any different than what like people say where it's like, uh, actually, how about my own personal experiences? He's the one chatter whose mom you didn't fuck? Yeah. See, you hate to see it, oh, dude. Harry. Sometimes mom speaks facts on Lazanabi. See, it's not the moms that you fuck. It's the moms that you don't fuck that turn around and do this. You know what I mean? I, I apologize to the community. I apologize to all the moms out there. I will get around to it, okay? 
This guy's flopping. I mean, I think this is like an alt account, like a fan account or something, maybe. But anyway, by next week, weird champ. Yeah. Is fat shaming, fat shaming good? Is a good thing, right? I oh, think shit, that right? when people say to me, you put on a bit of timber, mate, it makes me go back and try and lose a bit of timber. Eat a bit less, drink a bit less, get on my Peloton bike, off we go, right? I, I need to have people look at me going, hey, big boy, lose a bit. That's so ironic. Right? Wait, I don't get it. Like, it's not like Piers is like in good shape. You know what I mean? Because whenever we mention it on air as a joke, you complain oh, no, about no. it. I do that to you because yes. you're the great virtue signaling. We can't say anything negative about anybody's body image. Everyone's perfect. Yes. I don't agree. I think a bit of fat shaming is a good thing. A healthy. Yeah, well, it didn't take. So what the fuck are you talking about? Maybe you should learn from your own personal experience about how, you know, fat shaming didn't work. What do you think, Angelina? I to be fair, though, to be fair to, to Piers, like, I don't even know how you could fix Piers because, like, he's shaped like a fucking potato. Cracky Mick West side. Thank you for the five of the subs. Um, he's shaped like a potato. No matter how much weight he loses, I feel like he's still going to. He's still not going to be able to change that potato like shape. Um, a healthy thing. What do you think, Angelina? I think you're wrong. A bit of fat shape. Oh, this is my worst type of fucking TikTok react where it's just the video. They don't even react to it. All right. I want to hear from a guy who's going to FGCU about like how to win in the world. Don't worry. Joe Biden assures us that there's not a single thing a man can do. A woman can't do better. Not a single thing. Men can't pee their name. You know, they, you know, they dressed up together. You know, they dressed up. He was like, mommy, I'm going to wear my full sin outfit. Mommy. Mommy, wait, he did a 24 minute video. Mom reacts to Andrew Tate exposed. Ew, you're gross. That's fine. I'm, I'm turning. Well, what the fuck? Actually, I grew up in Turkey. Don't interrupt me. Instead, <laughs> no. You are absolutely a typical SJW looking person. Bro, okay. I, I mean, to fix. I mean, you. <laughs> I wouldn't be talking about looks, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, mommy, I would not be talking about looks if I were you. Stop. I'm not going to say it. 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 But you're like 60 years old. You're saying SJW. You should not know these terms, man. The internet broke people so hard. Where does this guy live? You what know, is this? G. Tate. Everyone on the internet is making content out of this man right now. So are we. People are constantly want to get on calls with them just to bitch and argue with them. So this dude, I've never even heard of him until a week ago, but he's some super liberal dude who. I am not a liberal. What the fuck? What the fuck? To take on the top G in an argument. Yeah. So. I, I mean, there's a picture of Obama behind him. I kind of caught that liberal vibe right away. Okay. Let's see. All oh, good. We'll just it's all good. Go into it with an open mind. Okay, I can't. What's going on? Explain it to me so I'm not being ableist. Why is she winking in one eye? No, this is not to make fun of her. You have to explain it to me. Someone in the chat, tell me. Come on. <clears throat> <coughs> What's that about? What is that? No, I've never seen that before. What? What is that? I'm not making fun of it. I just need to know what's, what is that about? The reason why I'm saying that is because like, I'm not going to make fun of it, but I know if I had brought it up, like, like right now, everyone in the chat is just making jokes. Okay. They're saying vaccine injury, blah, blah, blah. But if I had made that joke, okay. If I had made that fucking joke, there would be 11 essays in the chat from like people who behave like they have a fucking PhD or MDs. Like I'm actually a doctor. Uh, and uh, what you're doing is ableist, as a matter of fact, because she has a very unique condition called, like, uh, scoloriated, uh, uh, you know, eyeball uh, retention or whatever. And you'd be like, this is actually completely unacceptable. Like, why? Where are those guys now when I ask about it? Like, you know, 
like medicine. You know what I mean? I'm asking about medicine. 11 essays, four LSF threads, 10K liked hate threads. Yeah. But those guys, they don't want to say anything when I'm actually asking. What is this? Eye twitching? No, but it's not even... She doesn't even have eye twitching. Like, her eyes close one after the other. Just make a joke about it already so I can carry on with my essay. Yeah, literally. Those motherfuckers know exactly what's wrong with her eyes, okay? But they won't tell me right now in the chat because they're waiting for you to make a joke so they can write a fucking essay about it. Like, they're like, oh, fuck. He asked about it legitimately instead of fucking making a joke about it so he could, like... so. You know, I, he just took this away from me. I could have had 10,000 fucking likes on a goddamn Twitter thread where I show the world how fucking woke I am. You know what I mean? It's probably Bell's palsy. Please make the joke so they can tell you. Yeah, sometimes you just got to go there. Minor facial paralysis from stroke. Mind to me, has to say. Yeah. Andrew, I've seen some of your work. Uh, as you're doing the rounds on Twitch here, and uh, a lot of the things that you said that you've been called out on, specifically, I just I can't watch this, dude. This is gonna kill me. I don't. Uh, ugh. I've decided I'm making the executive decision. It's Saturday. She has Bell's palsy. Is that what it is? Maybe facial paralysis. I don't fucking know. No, I don't want to watch this. Ugh, ugh. Let's just get back to making fun of this kid. Um. Their name in the snow better. Men can't <laughs> open pickle jars better. Men can't pick up heavy weights better. Men can't throw up a baseball harder on average. No, it turns out every single thing a man can do, a woman can do just as well or better. There's not a dude. That's so funny. Like, yeah, it's a saying, my dude. Like, he doesn't literally mean that. Oh my god, it's like when chatters fucking see something I say, like in his ex exaggeration, and they go, actually, uh, technically, what you're saying is completely incorrect. Like he's just doing the meme. He's literally doing the fucking meme. He's like, uh-huh. You said anything a man can do, a woman can do better. Well, technically, there are certain things that men can do that are better than women. It's like, dude, shut up. Like, you are literally doing the fucking meme about you, man. Huh. All-you-can-eat buffet? Well, technically, what they don't let you know is that, hypothetically speaking, if I wanted to sit there and eat all that I could eat, they would kick me out after a while. What they don't usually tell you in the fine print is the fact that you can't be there for longer than three and a half hours. Lord knows I've tried. It's like, what? Yeah, it's the fucking Adderall is not, is similar, not equal uh, chatter. Adderall is actually similar, not equal to methamphetamine. Huh. It's called context collapse where people purposely misinter misinterpret your point and then twist it into something else and then the reply people in the context collapse within that framing yeah i mean we do it too a single thing a man can do that a woman can't do as well or better not a single thing Give not a single thing anything really yeah, well, there are things that women can do better than men yeah. there are things men can do better than women don't worry Oh my god, they're just like riding on the laurels of the fucking video itself. They don't even respond half the time. I'm in Wait. Miami with friends, and one of them invites me to go on this big-ass yacht party. So we're chilling on this boat, and I go to my buddy. What does the guy do who owns this boat? And I could not believe what he told me. The motherfucker sells ink cartridges. He's on a mega yacht in Miami from selling ink cartridges. It's pretty funny because, like, not a single one of these happened. You know what I mean? Like, not a single one of these things that he's talking about happened. Like, this is worse than LeBron, okay? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, definitely. Sure. You were totally on a yacht, brother. Oh, 100p. I believe you. Oh, someone said LeBron type stories. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. First comment, stolen joke. Listen, it takes a lot out of me to say LeBron. But this this immediately came up when the in the Libron uh, category. How could you have this much money from selling ink cartridges? But it opened my mind. Money is everywhere. Everything you look at, there's someone on the top of that pyramid making bank off of it. Once I realized that, it changed my entire perspective, and I was able to start making way more money. 
I'm in Miami with friends. Like what? What does this guy do? Someone explain to me what this fucking guy does, bro. Please. Please explain to me what this motherfucker does, bro. Please. What the fuck? Join the academy for free. Five million plus generated online. Oh my God. If you are over the age of 13 and you still use Snapchat, I just want you to know that you're a little bitch, especially if you're still keeping snap streaks. If you make it a point of your day to keep this minuscule number going, you have nothing better to do in your life. Look at that as a sign that you need to wake the fuck up and escape this fucking trap of your phone that you're staring at for eight hours a day. If you are over. Oh my God, um, believe in I yourself. I have always known that I'm going to become rich and successful since before I was making any fucking money. Even back in my brokey days when I was still working at a bar. It's so funny that he has to whisper because his mommy's in the other room and it's like way past her bedtime because she's barred the fuck out. You know what I mean? And she gets really mad when she comes in and is, is awakened from her slumber when he's yelling when he plays these fucking... What is this, what is this video game that he has underneath? I don't even know what this is. The bartenders were talking to me and making plans about my yacht in Miami for when I'm older and rich. If you is that Grand Theft Auto 5? And believe in yourself that you're going to make it one day. How do you ever expect to achieve your goals? Yeah, dude, he's right. Why should your right? I mean, this is a classic. This is like what popped Jordan Peterson, dude. I love that, you know, they're not even looking at new shit. They're like going back to the old, the old classics, bro. Half, this is so old, half of you motherfuckers became right-wing after watching this shit. Or were right-wing and became more right-wing after watching this video. Uh, way, back in the, way back in the good old days, you know what I mean? To freedom of speech. Trump, a trans person's right not to be offended. Your right to not be offended? There's no such thing as a right to not be offended. What, what, is, what is this new shit where no one can get offended? What is this new shit? Bro, you are the new shit, okay? Why is this... Half cooked fetus talking about the right not to be offended like he's a Facebook dad, dude. Why? Bro, you are offended. You're literally currently offended. Like you're a fucking boomer who is a divorced dad spending all of his goddamn time on fucking Facebook, uh, Facebook meme pages like uh, divorced dad pipeline, divorced dads for hot babes. You know what I'm talking about? Those, like, fucking dumbass Facebook groups that you see one of your, like, fucking relatives on, and you're like, oh, no, dude. You are so sad. Your life is so fucking sad. ...ended anymore. Right. And that's why people are so soft and can't get anything done, because they're, they're coddled since they're little. To not, to, to not get offended, man. Yeah, I'm sure this guy living in a fucking Florida McMansion who definitely is most likely still suckling on his mommy's titties Okay, like this guy has been breastfed till he was 14 and he's 15 now and he's acting brand new. You know what I mean? He's like, dog, I'm no longer, I am no longer being breastfed. Okay, you know, you know, I'm fucking popping off. Yeah, you haven't been coddled. Sure. Anything. They have bulldozer parents that do everything for them. These people are not prepared for the real world. You need struggle. You we need to should, fight. We should be polite to each other and do our best to not. Like what? What kind of struggle is this motherfucker seeing, bro? Like what? What struggle did this guy experience? I need to understand. Offense, but you know what? That doesn't mean I'm gonna tiptoe and pretend I believe shit that I don't because of your feelings. So this lady has never been polite in her life. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it a buck fifty. Okay. She does not strike me as the type of person who is ever polite. Do you understand? Like, oh, yeah, we, we should all be polite, you know, unless we see, you know, like a black guy near my car, in which case I'm going to pop off on him and call and then call the cops immediately because you're violating my space. Maybe I'm wrong, but honestly, you don't really look like uh, the, the type of person who has ever been polite. Bro, chill, Lamau. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it when everyone's polite. And by that, I mean polite to me. I can be as impolite as possible. What is this? Relationship 
between a man and a woman is inherently unequal. And that goes for any relationship where someone is deciding to date their oppressor. Just what? Ugh. It's just like both. Both. Uh, like, these guys we already know suck. But, like, TikTok is so fucking annoying. It's like... Oh, my God. Yes. In a patriarchal society, sexual intercourse between a man and a woman is always rape. Right? That's That's... We're doing that, right? Oh, my God. No one thinks this way. Like, that's just so stupid. Shut up. Shut up. Just like all white people have racism brainwashed into them, all males have okay, misogyny brainwashed. Okay, you know what? I don't want to listen to anybody who doesn't have their, their blinds straight. She's got her blinds are crooked, okay? She doesn't even have her life together enough to have her blinds even. And She's right. Yeah, let her cook. I'm getting these people to walk really fast. It's really good for their health. Obesity kills more people every year than fire. That is pretty hilarious. Yeah. That's that's some savage shit. She is a savage. Wow, real talk, dog. That's savage. She's a savage. Yeah, she's so savagely shit her pants, dude. God damn, bro. What is this? Women got the right to vote 102 years ago. That's it. There are women older than that on this planet who were not able to legally vote for the leadership in this country. We do this. <laughs> For them. Okay, not many. Like, maybe this mom, but like, not. <laughs> that's a wild thing to state, dude. Are are there? I feel like there's like a handful. You know what I mean? There's like maybe they're gonna content farm off your street for weeks for fuck's sake. I mean, here, look, look I'll give them a lifeline. You know what I mean? Good moment from the taste test yesterday. That was a good moment from the taste test yesterday. Don't even get me started I dress voting. like a whore for Susan B. Anthony and for all the women who were- Wait, what? She said, I dress like a whore? Bro, okay, she might have well, Tourette's or something, <laughs> actually, because she's- <laughs> What the fuck? She called her a whore. What about you? What do you mean? Why are you calling hey, her a whore? Like, she's literally dressed normally. What the fuck? Like, does she not realize that, like, if she's dressed like a whore, what about you? What the fuck's happening? That that cut is deep, mommy. Like, I don't get it. There's no place of employment. I am treated like a child or like a sex object every single day of my life. And Did I'm going to keep on fighting to make that not fucking happen or to make... Oh, she loved that one. She was like, that was such a funny joke. Uh, but he was like, eh... He thought he thought it was mid. You know what I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> she works at Hooters, right? Ooh, burn! Did that not race. fucking happen, or to make that so that I can feel safe, being able to look as I do and to be as young as I am and go out and be completely safe. And I'm gonna keep on fighting for that. You're a fucking nimrod. I'm so glad that I don't have a daughter, and I'm double glad that's not my daughter. It's like a light Tourette, and it's accompanied by other twitches and movements that one cannot control. It looks really bad. Yeah, it, I think it is. It probably is that, which is why I'm not making fun of her uh, uh, tics. Um. What did she say? What? Go out and be completely safe. And I'm going to keep on fighting for that. Fucking Nimrod. I'm so glad that I don't have a daughter. What? I'm so glad I don't have a daughter. I think society's glad you don't have a daughter. What is it? What like Nimrod? What the fuck? Bro, she pulled out Nimrod, dude. Yo, if you know or if you use Nimrod, if it's in your lexicon, you are too old to be on TikTok, okay? Like that's why I had to Google it. High level white people word? Yeah. <laughs> These types of conservatives are extra stupid. Yeah, no, this is my favorite. This is my favorite type of conservative. Because they're like they're like trying, you know what I mean? But they're they're just they haven't figured out the internet yet. 
they haven't figured out the internet yet, so they're just like kind of just you know piping content straight up, just uninhibited. You know what I mean? Like whatever goes goes. They're letting shit fly, right? And I personally like that. I like seeing people be like uh, honest this way. Is it better TikTok finance podcast? If no, I've seen this one already. Yeah, it's funny. No, the one I like is the guy, the real Jordan, uh, not Jordan Peterson, the real Andrew Tate Lane guy is actually the guy who, not these guys, these guys are all fake. It's the one who's like always like, yeah, I'm skinny, but I have a Lamborghini. You think your girl's going to want to fuck you in your shitty car or me and my Lamborghini? You know, that's the one I want to, that's the one I want to watch. That guy got banned? Wait, really? Why? Is it this guy? Let's yeah. Take you, for example, and me. And we both pull up and we go to your girl. Odds are I'm going to take that bitch. If you yeah, dude. Everybody loves people who wear McLaren t-shirts. Okay? Like, oh my God. Women, women, love, women love dudes shaped like a Slim Jim with a McLaren t-shirt. It's so fucking, it's just, just so classically gross to just be like, yeah, by the way, I have a McLaren. It's like, don't worry, brother. Everybody knows you're that kind of douchebag, okay? Everybody knows. You don't have to wear the McLaren shirt to be extra douchey, homie. He's got that cancer physique, okay. You compared me to you you're not gonna oh no okay this has got to be a meme right this is a bit i think he knows what's going on if you could compared me to you. oh come on come on come on oh there it is bro there ain't no way he posted this okay there is just no fucking way he posted this photo and i think he knew how fucking unimaginably jokingly awful he looks in that photo that he just boop, did a quick snapshot look at his legs bro he's got the sperry top siders oh my or dock siders is that what it's called like he's got the yachting shoes on but even then as far as the sperry's like that's the that's the sports edition so it's even whacker his t-shirt says hustle you know his ass is wearing cargo shorts <laughs> like it's just, just so fucking bad. Delusional YouTuber responded to my video and he's mad. So recently we had a TikToker respond. Okay, I, I just want to, I don't care about this. I just want to see more of this guy's content, okay? I, I want, this is the real guy who actually bit Andrew Tate's lane, okay? If we're doing a video about like top 10 Andrew Tate, like, what's up guys? I'm Hassan Piker and today... I'm rating all of Andrew Tate's lane, uh, all of the people. Okay, I'm going to do that again. What's up, guys? Today on YouTube, I'm going to be rating all of the Andrew Tate clones that have sparked up since Andrew Tate went to Romanian prison. That's what I would, that, that's how I would intro. And then, and then we would just look at all of the Andrew Tate clones, um, Shouts out to Gunner TV for uh, originally putting me on some of these guys, the epidemic of Andrew Tate clones. We're going to be taking a look at some of our favorites. And then go into it like this. Isn't this the guy who created the panty dropper cologne? What? That's real? Okay, let's just keep going. With to this. you, you're not going to win that battle. So the next time you think that your girl's on lock, I got the keys to the castle, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this guy's serious. There's just no fucking way. I refuse to believe that this guy's real. Like, there's no way that this is a real person. Oh my God, his original account got banned. What is this? So, uh, Moist Critical did a video on him and he responded, I guess. Oh... Oh my lord. Okay, okay, okay. We we need more. God, do they have more of his shit? I need to see more of his shit. 
All girls famously only care about slightly nicer cars. First of all, it's not slightly nicer. It's a McLaren, okay? It's the nicest car you can get, which women absolutely love, okay? I have no personality, and the only thing I have is a car, which I rented. But also, doesn't matter. Uh, it's still cool. This dude is not allowed to go near schools, I'm pretty sure. I hope. Oh, he has a Twitter still. Thank God. So $3,000 a month was a lot of money. I'm from $3,000 a month is actually a lot. He's a little bit Bro, I swear to God, Twitter video is so busted. What is up with this? Is this Twitter video or is he, did he upload like the shittiest fucking video possible? New alpha male just oh, wow. dropped. Yeah, this guy, he retweeted this person clowning on him, like not realizing. Odds are, I'm going to take that bit. Yeah, making less than 10K a month, pulling up in your bullshit fucking Corolla, and I pull up in my McLaren. It's not even a contest, dude. No one gives a fuck about your muscle. Joey Swole would have a fucking uh, Raptor, dude. He has a Shelby Raptor. Of course he does. Anyway, that's like besides the point. Shit. So three thousand dollars a month was a lot. Yeah, I think this video is fucking broken. That's what it is. As a car enthusiast woman, the only cars that could ever make me attract to a guy is if they're super cool, unique, home built thing that shows they know what they're doing. Any dumbass can drive a McLaren. Okay, let's see, let's see if there's more. Okay. Oh, there is more. Okay. Love that. Why was this watch over 40 grand? The market names the price. Bro, how many fucking... Dude, no way. No way. He didn't even fix his collar. Stop. Brother, he didn't even fix his collar to do this video, and it's another McLaren shirt. How many McLaren shirts does this guy own? If McLaren had any respect for itself, they would pull a Ferrari and take this guy's McLaren away. Except that's like 90% of their fan base and people who buy their cars. So I don't think they would do that. He's BB No Riz. Dude, it's just like, it's so fucking obvious. Big Homie has absolutely zero facial hair presence. So he's just trying to fucking cling on to the pube trimmings that he fucking posted up underneath his chin here. Why? What are you, a Lothario? What are you, a swashbuckler? What is this fucking facial hair? Oh my god, this D'Artagnan facial hair, bro. Stop. Motherfucker looks like he's about to go hop on a fucking donkey and fight every windmill. What is he doing, bro? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Yeah, he's like, I'm about on guard, bitches. I'm about to steal your girl, dog. Yeah, after I defeat you in fencing. Holy fuck. Johnny Depression. <laughs> Johnny Depression. Ay, 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 dude. Mercedes hired this guy to embarrass McLaren. Anyway, let's continue with the... Let's continue with this. He's got the robe mic on. He's got the McLaren polo tee. Like he's working in the fucking pit. Aren't McLaren single-seaters? He's not picking up any ladies with one seat. I think... I'm assuming... I think they have two seats. I don't fucking know. No one just came out of nowhere and just said like, hey, you know, a Rolex is 40 grand. No, people, the market, you know, KPIs and parameters made that watch 40 grand. If you were to buy a Timex watch or a Rolex watch, the Rolex is obviously more expensive because people put that value in it because of the branding, the craftsmanship. Why was this watch over 40 grand? The I at least thought he would describe like a super basic concept, like a Veblen good. You know what I mean? I thought... I thought that he was going to describe that. Like, nope. Nope, not even. He just basically said, like, uh, the watch is expensive because people decided it's expensive. Nice. Thanks, man. That's cool. Like, a lot of, lot of financial tips this from this guy. Is, have you ever eaten food? This. Why what? was this watch? This. Why can't I scroll this to this video? Is okay. definitely the number one book that fucking changed my life by Jay Shetty. Think like a monk. If you ever want to read a good book that like kind of makes your mental clarity better, I would definitely like... 
Oh no, homie is still in the house. Hasn't fixed the fucking collar. It's right got to be on purpose. This. Where? Who's he? Where's he going? Who's he talking to? Have you ever eaten food on a plane? Well, a recent study came out that actually. No, dude. Look at this. Look at this. What is he? Dude. Dude. He looked at the Hitler mustache and thought I could do it better. My man has the Hitler beard. He took the Hitler stash and put it on his beard, bro. What is happening? Yo, this shit literally looks like he shaved and he couldn't he couldn't figure it out. He shaved in the dark and he left a piece down there, not realizing it's on his face still. Oh my god. Food on a plane tastes more bland because when you're that high in the air, you actually lose 30% of your taste. I did not know this, so comment down below if you... Oh, thanks. He's got tips and tricks. When he's not telling you how to make more money, when he's not telling you the Sigma grind set, the Shrigma grind set lifestyle, he's also giving you helpful uh, educational points like that. You love somebody else until you love yourself. If you want your relationship with your business partner your significant other or family to be really, really successful. The most important thing is alone time. If you can't be apart and be alone, it means that they're not happy with themselves and you can't really love somebody else until you love yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's like not the worst idea, the, but like coming from him, it's just, you know, if you, you really do. Re would you, ra you oh really my. do realize like working hard isn't directly correlated. Bro, the audio just fell off, by the way. Like, I don't know what just happened, but, like, the audio is just done now so much lower. It would be successful at all. If that were the yeah, case, like, I mean, you take some, you know, coal miners and stuff. Yeah, right? those like, would be the highest earners. outworks those people. Yeah. So, obviously, like, that's not the, the direct, direct correlation. So, working smarter is definitely something that I think is more important. I love that there's no such thing as unskilled labor take immediately, which is true, right? But then simultaneously followed up by, that's why we need to do drop shipping. You know what I mean? He's like, he's like, honestly, you know, like these are, these are really like important, socially necessary uh, modes of production that these guys are like doing really important labor which is precisely why they should be paid more. And he's like, nah, actually, that's why we got to do drop shipping. <laughs> Sick, man. Thank you. Thank you for your value that you're contributing to society. Would you rather go to college or would you rather make 10K a month? That's the question you have. <laughs> yeah. When you don't go to college, you automatically make 10K a month. That's just how it works. To ask yourself, right? Do you go to college four years? bang a lot of chicks, drink a lot, have a lot of fun, right? That, that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I didn't do any of those things, right? <laughs> we know, bro. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go to college and bang a lot of chicks. I mean, it's funny to think because it's like, like, I don't think even if he went to college, he would be banging a lot of chicks. That's cool for people young like you. Or do you go take a laptop, learn a high ticket skill and make 10K a month? The problem is that a lot of people who are 18 to 24 are massively immature and they don't know what they want. Unlike this guy, very mature. And they were told and it was planted in their mind to go to college because it's supposed to be the thing that you do after high school. Would you rather go to college? If I had to start from zero and I had no money at all, the first thing I would get into is sales. Sales is the easiest fucking way to make money. Oh my God, bro. Fix your collar. I'm losing my mind. We've seen so many of these fucking videos now, and his collar is still busted, bro. Also, as someone who did sales, like, what dog shit advice? Oh, my God. It's awful. It's so awful. It, it, like, anyone who's in sales will tell you how fucking grueling and depressing working in sales is. Like, are you kidding me? You, you're constantly doing, like, you're constantly sucking dog farts out of your client's asshole, okay? Like, oh, yeah, it's great. You have to be, like, personable. The cold calling aspect of it is awful, too. Everybody treats you like absolute dog shit because you kind of are literally dog shit. You're constantly bothering people. Oh, it's so awful. I will not recommend...
<laughs> I will not recommend sales to anyone, okay? Oof. Jesus. Retail versus sales, which would you hate more? Probably retail because, like, you... Yeah, retail's worse because then it's, like, sales but in service, too. So you're not even... You don't even have, like, commission. You know what I mean? Like, I have a lot of respect for, for people who are in retail and people who work in the service industry in general. They are the fucking real heroes. They are braver than the Marines across the board. It's just the absolute fucking worst. The absolute worst, dude. Just, ugh. At least in retail, though, the people that you're working alongside are not going to be, like, straight-up demons, whereas sales is self-selecting for some of the most sociopathic individuals you'll ever meet in your entire life so like everyone else that's there with you are just like literally patrick bateman straight up like that's i guess if i were to like weigh the benefits i feel like in retail people are doing it because like there's just have no other option whereas like in sales like they're doing it because in a lot of instances there's guys like this i yeah yeah i guarantee crackhead behavior if in a dealership by the way i'm not joking yeah one of my one of my very close friends literally used to sell used Mercedes Benzes, okay? And he is a fucking psycho. Straight up. He's a psychopath. Okay? He's very good. He's but like also at the same time, you got to be a bit of a psycho, a bit of a freak, a bit of a fucking freak to to be able to do shit like that. Calling it now, he works with the McLaren sales department and steals free merch they can gift uh, with cars to make his TikToks. That would be really funny, but I don't think he has the personality to be a McLaren salesman. If you've if you've ever had the misfortune or I guess fortune to go into one of these dealerships, like especially for like luxury fucking vehicles and shit, uh, the people that actually sell those vehicles do not look like this or behave like this. They're like very, they're very. Uh, they're definitely significantly more, um, you know, uh, uh, self-assured, I guess. <laughs> Money right now. Because if you know how to sell shit, people will pay you no matter what you do, right? It's better commissions. You know, if you sell solar or a roofing contract, right, or you sell high ticket ten, twenty thousand dollars products, you sell one, you're getting at least a thousand to two thousand dollars commission on that sale. All you need is five sales a month, and you're a six figure earner. So, like, think about it that way. Sales is the easiest way to make six figures. Oh my God. I work at Porsche and I wear smoking. What? I went into the Rolls Royce showroom in Manhattan and they look like they work in the Secret Service. Yeah, they're very like. The the salesmen that sell luxury vehicles look like they sell luxury vehicles, if you know what I mean. They got fucking, yeah, they got vibes. Anyway. Taking sales advice from Hitler's younger brother. <laughs> well, Hitler, dude, you know he'd be like, this is, Hitler had a good idea on, on sales too. Oh, the collar's no fixed. The recession doesn't fucking matter. People who have predictable income, who have predictable businesses and predictable lead flow, we don't care about the fucking recession. If you're waking up right now. What is predictable about his fucking income? Like, I have predictable income because at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. Okay. If, and if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you could do for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. Right. Um, you can also get gifted a sub right? Yeah. That's how you avoid the top of the hour ad break. What is this guy doing that's predictable with respect to his income? Speed Razor, thank you for the five gifted subs allowing, predictably, five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. That was a bit unpredictable. Income from being in sales is famously predictable? Yeah. This guy has definitely never done sales. If you think that sales is predictable income, that's literally the first thing that they that you learn if they don't tell you is that it is incredibly unpredictable and you will get fucked. Curlytop.com. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Yeah. This guy, also a Florida man, by the way. Speaking of which, you remember how we watched the other guy? 
who was definitely a Florida man. This guy also a Florida man. And I pull up him on the flare. It's not even a contest. There's no way a girl is going to take it. What the fuck? Why is that? What is the audio mixing on this dude? A dude that makes two grand a month has a shit car. And just because he's nice, he can't protect, provide, or make you feel safe. So it's like it's not going to work. And I pull up him on All right, there's got to be better ones here. How, how did you break your limited beliefs around money? My only limiting belief was that if I made more money, then I thought I was going to be more of a dick, which is kind of true. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it is. But it's... <laughs> <laughs> I want to upgrade my status from being a normal dude. Why are they? Ooh, 9 11. Look at that. 9 11 is the rating I got for that ad break, dude. I, I don't get it. Like, who's watching this shit? Who is the market for this shit? I actually don't understand. Like, none of these guys are rich. Okay. Like, how have they been able to? basically cultivate like an audience or a fan base that thinks that they're actually rich i don't understand it it's not often i like to spend a lot of time and play around in the pig pen when it comes to internet beef i usually like to put that beef on a taco and just eat it one time and i don't think there's any reason to go back for seconds uh typically the 